I, Boston shouldn't do it if they still want Marcus Smart, is KD had a ready-made unit in Golden State that he just got airdropped into. They didn't really lose anything they actually needed, right? You could talk about, well, they have a big center in Bogut who they don't have at a stop, he right? He like, free agent. And, and, and he was a free agent, and you couldn't play the death lineup with him because he didn't have range and stuff like that. Okay. This would be different. This would not be KD being parachuted into a ready-made situation. Now he's putting them over at the top. This would be replacing the ready-made situation with Kevin Durant. You still have a couple of valuable pieces in, in Time Lord and, and, and uh, Tatum, especially Tatum, but it's not the same thing. Now you are in Brooklyn's position. We hope Brogdon can stay healthy. We hope KD can stay healthy. We hope it all gels. Not in the Boston Celtics position, which is we've built this organically for years and we are ascending as a unit. So I think you're right, Jay. It's a bad deal for Boston. I mean, I, I know what it looks like on paper. When you see Kevin Durant added to a Boston Celtics team, you get excited. Um, but at the end of the day, if you're Brad Stevens and you're looking at realistically, you know, do I have to give up the attitude and the heart and soul of my team moving forward, considering we do have injury issues with Brogdon, even though KD is a prolific talent, we were just in the world championship. And I know Chris Middleton, if he were healthy, they might have been the favorite. They might have won that. But there is a big sense of this feeling amongst all the Boston Celtics players that they do believe that they were the talented team enough to win that championship series against Golden State. Grant Williams even talked about it, where they just don't believe that they were disciplined enough. Well, they part didn't of have the right enough. composure. Yeah. It has to do with experience. Yeah, 100%. Experience. 100%. So, uh, by the way, I, I felt that about the Warriors back in the day. They've gained ex championship yes. experience. It shows up in the crunch time. So i got to ask you a question, Jay. If it was Jalen Brown... Grant Williams and Derek White and draft picks. I do it. Would, okay, I would do it because I, I would do that in the. I would do that. In other words, you're, what you're not going to do is remove two core pieces. Yes, not removing two two core. The core of the Celtics, in my opinion, is Tatum and Brown and Smart and and Robert Williams, Time Lord. I think he's part of that core because they're much different when he plays. I'm not giving you two of those pieces. Plus, you can have like, one plus other stuff. I like the attitude that Marcus Smart and KD combined give me. I like the way that rubs off on Jason Tatum, who is the star of this team. Michael, so you, you need somebody to bridge that, right? Because yeah. if KD just comes in with Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum's naturally going to defer to Kevin Durant. And Marcus Smart would be the person, no, you don't defer. KD, I'm sure, would tell him, don't defer. This is your team. You need somebody that can communicate that for go. those two players. Good luck stopping like a team it, with uh, KD. This is why it's tantalizing, though. Good luck stopping a team with Tatum and KD. <laughs> <laughs> Michael in Chicago. You're on with Harry Douglas in for Keyshawn. Jay Will and Max, ESPN Radio. Good morning. What Good up, morning. baby? There's absolutely no way I'm trading any part of the Celtic core for Kevin Durant at 34 years old. Who, any part of it? To me, looked average. To me, he looked average against the Celtics. So why would I trade for him? Any part of the core? Yeah, be more specific when you say core. Like who? Who exactly are you okay, talking? Okay, I'm not giving up Tatum. I'm not giving up uh, Brown. I'm not giving up Smart. I'm not giving up Williams. Oof. None of them. You're not giving up anything for KD. All right, man. Well, you're not getting KD. So, I hear so, you. Live, live, live. <laughs> So, Michael, they asked for Jalen Brown, Derek White, draft picks. He's gone, Jay. You're not doing it. Oh, he's gone? KD looked average. Why would I trade for him? So, I mean, look. Well, he didn't that, look that, average. So he just didn't he, look he, like he wasn't average throughout the season. He was pretty <laughs> prolific. But he did look bad in that series. And he looked bad in that series due to the way that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown defended him. And the fact that his coach, Emi Yudoka, for USA Basketball, watched KD train daily and knew his tendencies yeah remember when kd was young the one thing you could do was deny him the ball he wasn't physically strong enough he addressed every weakness in his game at his peak and i take his peak to mean what the series he got hurt in against toronto he was he he had become impossibly great by then then the achilles went and now he is not the same overall player. He doesn't play as much. He doesn't play at quite as high a level, even on offense, but certainly not on defense. Dog, I don't, but, but was Michael I, saying that he he, he would take Jalen Brown over Kevin Durant? Like, I, he I said he just wouldn't trade him. He just, he just wouldn't trade him. He doesn't want to trade any of the core. Okay. I don't know. I, what was I, that Q-tip song, hey, Won't Trade? Max, Remember that one? What, Max, how'd that go? I, yeah. don't know if, I don't know if I agree with you on that. I don't think KD is slightly off. I, I think he slightly maybe, 
Right. Well, he's not as far off as your narrative you just built Offen- around. Jay, Jay, offensively, he is playing at a stupid high level still. If I had to say which offense would I rather have, that KD Max, or this KD, I'll take that KD. Max, defensively, he's still pretty damn good. No, bro. I totally disagree. Defensively, KD is willing. That's awesome. Max. He's willing to take on the well, toughest assignment. Max. He is not Sometimes as effective Max as he used to be. Okay. Of your so I, I Nobody need, in Brooklyn I, play defense. I, I, need, I, I need Max to you break down film for me. Because every okay. film I've broken down, KD's not far off from where he was defensively. But you, see, you, keep no, saying, you keep saying not far I'm off. Not, is he as good? Well, he's I mean, he's, still, he's, I he's more than serviceable. I agree he's with that. He's way more than serviceable. I agree with that. He's more you, than serviceable. You build it up like he's dropped he off had defensively. Bec- because people, you, I don't think you're holding in your mind how great he had become as an overall player at the end with the Warriors before the Achilles went. The two parts of his game that I was like, like, you know, for example, I'll talk about Giannis. If his, to me, the big thing with Giannis more than his shot is his handles. If his handles were 15% better, let's say, it's over. Like, you know, now we talk about Michael Jordan territory. For KD, to me, the two things that made it like, oh, my God, what are we seeing here? Because the offense was always ridiculous. But, were, was, but Max, was the defense oh and the God. passing Max, he said, at Golden State. Those two parts of his game you know, went to absurd what new cl- levels. What clouds that sometimes is that the, boss, the Brooklyn Nets was so horrible defensively as a team. So sometimes that's that could point. be clouded. Thank you, man. And There's by no the way, Draymond the last, Green on that yeah, team. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Let's not, let's not look at this in a vacuum here, man. I know we get coming off the way things ended. But, I mean, it was only last year when he went head-to-head with Giannis and dropped that 50-point. Like, people were, like, so pro- – Oh, he's incredible! He's incredible! He's a- – And, like, and now all of a sudden it's like, well, I'm just saying, they may have dropped off. It's not you – know. Yes, but, of course, at what cost, what price for Boston? Keyshawn, Jay Willemax, ESPN Radio Series, XM Channel 80. Jay, you convinced me. The real difference – between, say, KD going to Golden State and if and this proposed trade to Boston, the reason why Boston shouldn't do it if they still want Marcus Smart, is KD had a ready-made unit in Golden State that he just got airdropped into. They didn't really lose anything they actually needed, right? You could talk about, well, they have a big center in Bogut who they don't have at a stop, he right? He like, a free agent. And, and, and he was a free agent, and you couldn't play the death lineup with him because he didn't have range and stuff like that. Okay. This would be different. This would not be KD being parachuted into a ready-made situation. Now he's putting them over the top. This would be replacing the ready-made situation with Kevin Durant. You still have a couple of valuable pieces in, in Time Lord and, and, and uh, Tatum, especially Tatum, but it's not the same thing. Now you are in Brooklyn's position. We hope Brogdon can stay healthy. We hope KD can stay healthy. We hope it all gels. Not in the Boston Celtics position, which is we've built this organically for years and we are ascending as a unit. So I think you're right, Jay. It's a bad deal for Boston. I mean, I, I know what it looks like on paper. When you see Kevin Durant added to a Boston Celtics team, you get excited. Um, but at the end of the day, if you're Brad Stevens and you're looking at realistically, you know, do I have to give up the attitude and the heart and soul of my team moving forward, considering we do have injury issues with Brogdon even though KD is a prolific talent, we were just in the world championship. And I know Chris Middleton, if he were healthy, they might have been the favorite. They might have won that. But there is a big sense of this feeling amongst all the Boston Celtics players that they do believe that they were the talented team enough to win that championship series against Golden State. Grant Williams even talked about it, where they just don't believe that they were disciplined enough. Well, that's they part didn't of being have the good right enough. composure. Yeah. It has to do with experience. Yeah.